So I've made over 580 videos and got 9 million views on this channel. And I still hate how long it takes me to edit my videos like this. But these four new AI tools for video editing that I found will save us thousands of hours this year and make editing easier than ever. Links to all of these tools will be in the description to this video. And the first one is Gling. You know when you first sit down to edit a recording like this and the footage has tons of repetition, mistakes, there's points like this where nothing is being said or done at all and you just waste hours on that first pass just cleaning all of that stuff up. Well, Gling here solves those problems. It takes that footage and transcribes everything that was said in the video to this text you see here and then it uses that text to find bad takes. So here you can see I repeated myself twice before actually getting the right take. And what Gling has done here is it has automatically cut out the early mistakes. And while removing those bad takes, it also cuts out any silences from that original recording. So you're left with a finished edit that just has the moment where people are talking. So what you're getting here with Gling is an automatic first pass rough cut in minutes where this step normally takes me an hour or two to just get through all of that crap in the first edit. You can then export that first cut into Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere where you can then add all of the extra bells and whistles onto your edit. It's an amazing AI and you'll find the link to it in the description to this video. Okay, so this next AI tool is helping waves of people go viral from short form videos. It's Opus Clip. So you know normally when you're turning long form videos into vertical shorts, you have to find the moment in the original recording to use for the short. You then got to line the shot up to make sure that the person fits into the vertical frame. It's then best practice to add subtitles to shorts to keep people watching them. And this all just takes a ton of time to do manually. Well, Opus Clip AI, which you're seeing on screen now, just automates that whole process. You just log into the website, paste the link here, that you want the AI to edit into shorts for you. That video appears just here. Press this button right here. And after a few minutes, the AI is going to have found a ton of interesting moments from that original video and edited each of those moments into a completed short for you. I'll just quickly show you this one. Fatality rate was was low. Don't you think though it's difficult to appreciate? It's, it's, it's difficult. So the AI tracks people's faces and keeps it in shot, it adds subtitles, and it can even automatically add B-roll to your short, saving you a ton of time where you would have had to have done that all yourself. Once you've got your shorts, you can either click this button here to export them to Premiere to do more editing, or you can push this button and schedule your clips straight to social media. Link to Opus Clip AI is also in the description to this video. Next up, we have an AI tool that belongs to this YouTuber right here, Mr. Ali Abdal, with 5 million subscribers. And that tool is Firecut. So, Firecut is an AI extension that sits inside Adobe Premiere. You can see mine here. Looks like I need to do an update. And say you need to quickly add subtitles to your long form videos. You just set your in and out points, head over to the add captions feature in the extension, transcribe the video. And then if you scroll down, you'll see a preview of what your subtitles will look like. You can change to different styles here. You can move around where you want the subtitles to show up on the video. There's tons of customization features down here to change fonts and colors, animations, and you just click this button to add captions to your sequence. And if we zoom in just like that, that section of the footage now is fully subtitled with animations. Couple more cool features. Firecut can remove silences from your edit, but if you've already used Gling, you don't need it to do that. You can remove filler words. So if your speakers are saying, uh, um, hmm, a lot, the AI will remove all of those instances from your sequence. There's a setting to have the AI add zoom in like this on the speaker's face when there's important moments in the script. And what I find amazing is you can press this button here, add chapters, press detect chapters here, and the AI will transcribe the whole edit and find the chapters in that recording based on when different topics were spoken about. And here's what that looks like. The AI has scanned this recording and it's found different chapters that start at different timestamps here and it's automatically applied a name for those chapters. And this is really great because what it lets us do is 
if I press preview here, it automatically goes through your video and it adds a title screen like you're seeing here at the start of every chapter, just like Ali Abdal uses in his videos. So I might just change the name of this chapter here to something that I prefer. Scroll down and press add clips into my original edit. And as we'll see here, if I just zoom in, that title screen has been added at the start of that chapter. Let's just go out of this now. This tool is really great just for adding the final touches on your edit to get it to release quality. I love it. Link to Firecut is in the description. Right, our next AI tool can take awful headset microphone quality audio like this and turn it into higher quality audio that sounds like this. This AI tool is part of the Adobe Podcast suite of AI tools that you're seeing on screen now from, you guessed it, Adobe. You just need to click to go to intense speech here, drag and drop your bad audio file here. And after just a couple of minutes, the AI will have enhanced this audio to professional quality. You can just download that by pressing this button. And before you download it, you can change the amount of enhancement that has been applied to your original clip to get to a amount that you're happy with. I usually go for about 75% before I download. There's even more AI tools for video editing that I'll cover in a later video. These are enough to get you started. But what if you wanted to save even more time with your videos by never having to film yourself ever again? This video of mine here shows how you can make a complete digital clone of yourself in less than five minutes to present your future videos. So watch that next and remember to subscribe.